She was so mad that I never returned any of her texts, you know? Is she still texting you? Yup. Who? That Missy chick from our third period class. I don't remember her. Nothing to remember. Don't be a jerk. She's nice enough. <gasps> oh no! Now that I've captured you, I'm going to tell you all the details and the flaws of my doomsday device. You'll never do this while I'm alive! Yeah. Ah, ah. Save yourself! Okay. Ah. Ah. You think not having any limitations impacts you in a negative way? Um, like apps like Google Drive and other stuff are really helpful for school and if I didn't have Google Drive I would be such a mess. Not that I am not a mess, but like if I didn't have Google Drive it would be chaotic and sometimes it's good to have limits but sometimes you have to teach yourself how to be limited. As a senior in high school my parents shouldn't be babysitting me on something like that. He's rolling out to pass, number 12, he's met there by Ben Mason and it's intercepted! Off to the races! That's Evan Long, he's running away, no one's gonna catch him. He is in for the touchdown. Reading Rockets score on the fourth down interception. He can take this kid down, I know he can. Yeah. There you go! Go, go, go! Keep ah. this two. Nice. Good job by McKeel. Justin now leads 3-2. 30 seconds remain in the first period. If it's, Here's an example of an, of an older movie using a jump scare effectively in a newer, in like contrast with a newer movie. In the movie Halloween, there's a scene where one of the characters is is worried that, that something's going to happen to him, and then his friend comes from behind, puts his hand on his shoulder, and then he looks back and, and then sees his friend and is really scared. So what are you dressed as, Emily? Uh, I am dressed as Elsa. Cool. Do you, do you have a favorite part about Halloween? Going trick-or-treating. Do you get lots of candy? Yes. What's your favorite kind of candy? Uh, jelly beans. We shall live in peace.